everyone. I'm here today to describe SurePlate products. We have a solution to lost license plates on most dot land assemblies. We're here today in sunny Florida and we are going to describe to you three products that we have available on Amazon and our website on SurePlateForYou.com. We're going to go through uh, SurePlate mounting. We have uh, SurePlate Economy Max and we have SurePlate Deluxe Max. We're going to show you the different products and um, we're going to go through a disassembly and assembly procedure. So we're going to start off here quickly by removing the nuts. On our standard dot lamp assembly, we recommend replacing these plastic units don't work over time if you're somebody who trails a lot these will eventually fail if you just have your trailer sitting in a lot and you don't trail a lot with it then it's not necessary but uh, our experiences traveling with our jet ski all over the state and multiple states that um, after time these fail they tend to de de degrade over time because they're not UV protected and because they're plastic, they don't they don't do well in cold weather. So we're going to replace this with our product, SurePlate. You can see here plastic insert with nuts that have rectangular um, shapes on them, and they cam on the on the surface on the inside here. You have to be careful not to overstress these. When you use the lock nuts, these tend to to spin. That's why we use the double nuts. So we have two options here. We could mount the, the product between the lamp and the frame, or you could mount it on the outside. Either is sufficient, since you have to take your light assembly off anyway, we recommend that you put it in between. We'll show you both options. So basically that's it. So you have the flexibility of sure plate, and then you can tighten up the fasteners. With this particular configuration, having the washer is not as important. So you can use the original hardware. Just put that all back on there. And we can do a pre-tighten. So we're ready to tighten this nut. You don't want to go too tight here because of the plastic cam on the inside. You can strip it. So you want to go lightly. Preferred you can use an open end wrench, you get a better sensitivity. So don't over tighten it. And then you can put a lock nut on here to prevent it from backing out. Not all applications require the double nut. Depends if you have a plastic cam with a bolt in the structure. There you go. Now you have full flexibility. If you back into something, UV protection. It's made of rubber, it doesn't corrode. It's good in cold temperatures and it's flexible. Now we'll mount the license plate. So our last process here would be to install the license plate. You want to put the license plate obviously in front of the rubber. If you have it behind, you'll occlude some of the printing. So we go ahead and we recommend the washer on each side. And we 
we have in our kits. We use the smaller washers in this application. And we just hand tighten them. So we want to show you today the um, another alternate method of fastening shirt plate onto your trailer. And the reason why there's two different ways of doing it, we prefer to have it in between. You get better life out of your shirt plate product, but you can also mount it on the outside, it makes it easier. It's all a matter of where your bolts are coming out relative to this bottom edge. If you have the distance where you can get the flexibility, then we recommend putting it between the trailer lamp and the bracket. If your screws are too high, then you may not have the flexibility. So most configurations will work between the lamp and the bracket. So we're gonna show you today just mounting it on the outside, which is easier. So you mount it on there, but in this application, the washer is very important. So here we have the sure plate against the outer bracket on the outside surface. And we put a washer in. We recommend a large diameter washer. The recommended washers and fasteners are printed on the assembly instructions. Our EM1002 product line includes fasteners. Our DM16004 product also includes fasteners. Our lowest cost item is the EM16001 and that does not include fasteners. So in this particular case, we're just going to put our nut on here and tighten it. Now depending on the structure inside the lamp determines whether there are two uh, nuts instead of one. Here because This one has adequate structure. You could get away with just tightening these nuts and be done with it. Because the nylon inserts create more friction and drag while torquing, you may damage the cam that's inside the plastic housing on the lamp. So the best thing to do is just to lightly tighten. Use a second nut. Open-end wrench to hold the first nut. And use a socket head to tighten the two nuts against each other. And then you have a secure mount. As stated earlier, depending on your lamp design, the second nut may or may not be required. So we have a Phillips head screw and we hand tighten it. Make it nice and snug, but because you have the nylon nut, you don't have to go crazy and over tighten it. So we got that nice and snug, and there you have your final product. So you have more flexibility here. You can see it lifts a little bit away. You have more flex. And this is going to last you years. Far superior. You can accidentally back into something. The water rushing by your plate, the stress will be less because it's allowed to flex both in and out of the water. And the multiplier material makes it tough, tear resistant in cold temperatures it's corrosion proof you won't get any rusting and because it's uh, neoprene rubber is pretty is good for UV sensitivity you won't have dry rot made to last So 
here we are. We're ready to mount the lamp and the SurePlate license plate bracket. Because this is plastic, there's a hex feature on here that prevents it from rotating when it's assembled. But because it's plastic, it can't take a lot of torque. So there's the reason for putting a normal nut on, which goes on easy. And then you'll be able to hold the two nuts and tighten one. And we'll show you that in a moment. So we put the bolts back in. So we have the two studs. And you can take sure plate and mount it on the outside surface. Take a washer. These are the large washers in the kit or you have your own. The large washer prevents sure plate from tearing. It helps with the longevity. We have our, lights, our lamp assembly on. We make sure that it's down all the way to the bottom. You've got your sure plate fastened, and at this point, you can put the lock nut on, which is the nylon insert, which keeps it fastened over time. This double nut situation is unique to this particular configuration with this lamp, but doesn't necessarily need to be this way on other mounting. So another way to do this is we take our open end wrench and our socket and we just tighten those up. We want to make sure you don't put too much load on the sure plate, just enough to keep it fastened and then all your torque is between the two nuts. And there you go. So, so we're ready to mount our license plate. We recommend mounting the license plate on the front end, on the front side of sure plate. Our kit comes with four washers, otherwise you could use your own hardware. So we have stainless steel screws, so we put our washer on, and then bring it through one side, put another washer on the back side, we rec definitely rec and we'll put it on here loosely, then we'll do the other side. on the back side okay take a screwdriver and seven sixteenths And because we have a nylon lock nut, you don't have to over tighten it. It keeps the screw from coming out. And there you have it. Sure plate mounted with a flexible, durable, multiply rubber. It doesn't degrade in UV lighting, good for cold temperatures, flexible, corrosion proof, and because of the multiply material, it's tear proof. This is one tough assembly, and it's flexible, so if you back into something, you're not going to damage your license plate. It's going to move out of the way, and moving in and out of the water allows flexure, and instead of stressing your plastic part, this just moves out of the way. And there you have it, the finished product, sure plate with stainless steel fasteners.